Good morning, class. Okay. How are you today, class? Oh, that's nice to hear that. You are fine. So before we are going farther, let us start our class with a prayer. Who wants to get a prayer? Miss Virgil, should we stand? And before you take your seats, please pick up some pieces of paper and arrange your chairs. Okay, have a ten class. Very good. Is there any absent today? Wow, amazing. There is no absent today. So that means you have a complete attendance. Clap your hands for that. And now, I am here in classroom rules. I am going to read the classroom rules and you will listen. First, raise your right hand if you want to answer. Second, avoid talking to your seatmate. Third, if you want to go out, please ask my permission. Is that clear, class? Yes. Very good. And I have here also this thing. You know, what is this thing, class? Oh, this, these are sweets. Do you know how this works? And I will explain it to you. Every member of the group will raise their hands and share their ideas. I will give one piece of this thing. And take note that every piece of this thing has a corresponding point. That means you need to cooperate and share your ideas because after that, after our class, I will go into total all of the things you get and those group and those group who got the high score will be the winner and will receive these things. Okay, is that clear? Yeah. And so I have here also a criteria. This criteria is for our activities that we will be going to do later. I will read the criteria. Please remember this criteria. First, cooperation, 20%. Second, punctuality, 10%. And third, accuracy of the answer, 30%. So, class. Uh, do, you, do you still remember what was your last topic? Who among you here still remember what was your last topic? People at the back? Mr. Otero, what was your last topic? Okay, your last topic was about multiple intelligence tests. Yes, do you have any questions or clarifications for your, with regards to your last topic? Very good. I think you are ready for our next topic this morning. And, wait, this. What do we observe by, by these birds that I flash on TV? Like run, walk, push, house, teacher, dog, high, sheep, power. So, what do you think? What was that? What is that bird? So, that bird I belong to eight part of speech. Are you familiar with that? The eight part of speech? Yes, very good. But that is our lesson this morning. Our lesson this morning is about the eight part of speech. But before that, we will present to you our objective for this lesson. At the end of the lesson, the students can identify the key part of speech. Second, create sentences under the part of speech and value the part of speech. Is our audience available class? Yes, definitely yes if you are going to participate and listen carefully in my discussion. That is very possible. So, the eighth part of speech is the noun. So, let's 
So what's the read the definition of a noun? Please, Mr. Bakarisa, if you want to read the meaning of the noun. Example of the noun is house, picture, house. Very good. Thank you so much for that, Mr. Bakarisa. Now is a name or person, place, things, or ideas. Examples. House, teacher, cup, and example in a sentence. My teacher is a very nice person. The highlight, the highlighted word teacher is the noun because the teacher was speaking the agent of the sentence. Okay, let's proceed in the second part of the speech, the verb. The verb describes an action or experience. So it is an action, a word that, uh, that has action. Examples. What do we mean examples? Please, Mr. Gender. The example. Can you please read it? Rhino push. Very good. Thank you so much for that. So grand block push this includes action, right? When you're going to run, you exert action. You exert it force when you're going to run. Yes, and I'll give you an example in a sentence. So we ran to school because she was late. The delighted word ran is the verb. Because it is an action word. That means so we ran. So he and she existed force or she existed break in that sentence. Example, John loves to bake cookies. Yes, we are going to bake. Use certain force and you use and it has action. So that bake is a verb. Okay, let's proceed to Adverb. Who wants to read the definition of adverb? Mr. Terror, please read the definition. Describe some word as an adjective or an adverb. The adverb is as how open, how we are for women. Thank you so much, Mr. Terra. Examples slowly, yesterday, and always. Sorry is always late for school. The highlighted word always is the and last night, I slept really well. So the word for last night is our verb. Adverb. Very good. Thank you so much. And let's move on to the third part of speech. The adjective. The adjective is a word that describes or modifies the noun. Example, tall, blue. Beautiful. Example, Nina is beautiful. So that means Nina Dole Guapa. So as a animal bird, the complement of Nina is a beautiful. So Mona and adjective in a complement sa noun. The word that complements the noun is the adjective. Okay. And let's move on to the other part of speech, the interjection. And the rejection expressed strong emotion and is often followed by an exclamation mark. Example, wow! Oh! Diba? It has the exclamation mark. It feels like you're well, strong emotion, you're surprised, or yes, something like that. That is the rejection. Example, wow! The view is so amazing. So, you are amazed of the view. And, wow, the highlighted word, I know, is our interjection. Understand that? Very good. And let's proceed to the next part of speech, the conjunction. Conjunction are connect words, phrases, or clauses in a sentence. Examples, and, but, or. Example, I like to watch the television and eat popcorn. Because of the word and there in a sentence, the sentence is being connected. Is that correct? Yes, if you're going to uh, get the end and you can read it, right? And I like to watch the television eat popcorn. It's so awkward. 